Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Narcissu 1. There's a second one. It's glorious. Um an early access um visual novel. And I'm starting to think that there's no soundtrack. Why? Because the soundtrack is to be bought on Steam. Um, I thought it was like one of those things where you get them from, um, like, you know, collector's editions. But regardless, uh, select the title, that one. Alright. I get. What the hell does this mean? I mean, I know I don't want that. Um. We always keep. I mean, I can't read that. Um, so I go with the middle one? I can't make that out for shit. Well, I can because that's it, but... I mean, there's English words there, so I suppose, yeah. Voiced or unvoiced? Let's go with unvoiced since I'm going to be um, voicing otherwise. I'll be null and void if I do voiced. Uh, but, um, yeah. On a blinding bright day, on that very day of winter, it's going very quick. <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh yeah, all aboard the field train, mother truckers. Why is that still doing that? Do I have to click? Those are loading. Oh, I have to click. <laughs> From July to Vanzobelistan. Oh, there is sound. Very loud. Oh my buttery Jesus. Sp oh, never mind. Uh, spring 1996, Satsumi. The year I was born. Oh my buttery Jesus. There was no options. True, I wasn't very healthy ever since I was a child. Oh, I should be laughing, I'm sorry. Even so, no, even so, I attended elementary school like all the others, and during summer break, I often played... Pl oh, hold on, hold on. Configurations. Ah, there we are. Um, music. Back. Ah, there we are. Even so, I attended elementary school like all the others, and during summer breaks, I often played until I was utterly tanned. June, shortly after my entry into middle school, the day after I ordered a swimsuit for for use the, for use the next month, for I ordered a swimsuit for use the next month. Oh my God! Yeah, there are. Typos, probably. Uh, well, uh, my first hospital hospitalization on a day just before the first semester midterms, on a day when the first drops of rain were so cruelly cold. I hope that stops. There we are. <laughs> Falling from a mid. Hold on, hold on. Let me change the effects. Um, effect volume. Let's put that on the half, because I'm assuming it's um, full out. Falling from amidst the pure white of the overcast sky. Of course, the first time it happened, all my classmates came to visit me almost every day. This is starting to sound familiar. And when I was released, they even came, never mind, they even came to my house on weekends to play. My, you popular little bastard. But that was only the first time around. Autumn into winter, winter into spring, a vicious cycle. Hospitalization, release clinics, and hospitalization again. Oh, God. And before I knew it, even the classmates I once called friends turned into acquaintances. There we are. That's the familiarization. And then into strangers. Okay, never mind. As if 
with every changing of season that I was being erased from their collective memory. Oh god, that just made me think. I'm a girl! Okay, I know by the reaction. I don't have a problem playing girls, it's just it would have been nice to know. Then again, if I had voiceover, that probably would have been none and void. <laughs> <sighs> okay then. Let's just say it in the normal voice for now. It seems that to all those normal people, my very existence was an unpleasant fact. Oh god. Shion and Hanako rolled into one. What a horrifying combo. Yet at the same time beautiful. Not from story, of course. If it was story, that would churn on the heartstrings. And so it looks like I've been erased. No, nope, that effect was not for the ring. I'd spent so many seasons, so many white overcast skies without the want or need to converse with anybody. For that matter, my English textbooks never changed from that of a first year middle school student before the first midterms. Oh my. That is where my time seems to, seems to come an end. To an end. What? Stage Nana, Volume 24. What? Early summer to the protagonist. Wait, how are you in middle school if it was. No, no, oh, yeah, you, you probably weren't born in 1996. Goodness sake. Eight years later. Early summer 2004, protagonist. Summer flowing sweet. The gigantic electronic scoreboard in the driver's license examination facility lit up all at once. My eyes and every my eyes and everyone else's looked for our respective numbers. Two three seven two three seven, and of some eight columns of lit text. Sure enough, my examination number was shining in the midst. Why you in school? On the uh, train. A nearly empty train car. Perhaps thanks to the beautiful afternoon. Almost alone in the train car, I was heading back home for the examination hall. From the examination hall. So you're in school now. My left hand held a new traffic regulation handbook and my breast pocket held my brand new driver's license. So now I've got a license as well. I muttered somewhat happily, but <laughs> I'm so, I do apologize, but there were no strong feelings behind it. I never particularly wanted to drive a car. I never particularly had any motive for it. Fabulous. It was just that my colleagues and Technical Institute both recommended that I at least get a driver's license. That night, when I told my parents that I'd gotten my license, they merely replied with an I see. Well, horrible chil people. <coughs> I nearly said children then. <laughs> and when I asked if I could borrow the car just for a test run, they instantly and curtly said one thing. No. While I didn't really want to drive the car or anything, that the response was all too expected. Those were my parents' view. Parents suck. The next day, I awoke with, my che with chest pain, with chest pains, and went to the hospital. Sickness and sickness and I generally had nothing to do with each other, which is why I found the ER waiting room to be utterly boring. And just when I thought they were through examining me, they ordered an x-ray and some blood tests, then they left. And again, I was left one waiting for a long, long time. I already... Oh, I must be reading too long. It's only been ten minutes. Near enough. I'd already polished off three volumes of Shown Jump and was ready and was just about to start on a fourth one. 
when they admitted me to hospital right then and there. And it seemed that my new license, which still lay snugly in my best breast pocket, would have to wait a long time for its turn to come. I'm terrified for this music, I really am. Tagging the sword into the Right around when the all too noisy cessates, probably had finally gone silent, I once again found myself in hospital as per usual. Of course, it wasn't as if I'd been there the entire time. I came and went, came and went, a futile cycle. My first surgery was a month before. After that, I started doing the five minute commute to and from the hospital by mopped. I don't understand what that means. And from then on, I was hospitalised, discharged, ordered, ordered to clinic, and hospitalised again and again and again. While I still had no clue what PET or IRISA stood for, in no time at least, at all, several months had already passed. Jesus. As my appetite decreased, my medications increased. Oh dear. I could feel my own physical strength. A trophing away. Probably. I kept imagining that my legs were getting thinner, but the needle of the weight scale rudely informed me it's not just your imagination. Oh god. And yet I kept looking on at myself with detached interest, as if it were happening to somebody else entirely, as if I were looking at a screen on TV or I said screen, didn't I? A scene on TV or the like. My mind could not grasp what had so suddenly happened to my body. Nothing within me was telling me that this was real at all. And that's why, even though it was all happening to me, I kept looking on as if it were happening to someone far away. Click, damn you. Protagonist Winter 2004. A day of winter. Around when the Christmas trees had vanished from the streets. I was discharged home as a kind of year's end treat. <laughs> oh god. It seemed like an exercise in total... Transits? Probably, but still, it made me slightly happy. I travelled back to a home I had not seen in a long time in the midst of freezing rain. Strangely enough, my entire family was there. Click, damn you. <laughs> my parents, who had never so much as talked to me, came out to meet me, if with terribly stilted smiles. And my little sister, with whom I'd never had a pleasant word, had made my favourite cream stew and fried shrimp just for me. They made me sit at the table. They pleaded... No, they peeled tangerines for me. They were cruelly kind. It was an impressive display. At this point, a little thought occurred to me about my new driver's licence, which was still stuffed away in my pocket. That perhaps... That perhaps things would end for the license without it ever having known any use. Oh god, that is horrible. And surrounded by a trio of stilted, strained smiles, I kept that thought as if it were someone else's business with dispassion, ambiguity, ambiguity and total disinterest. <laughs> 